Hello friends, welcome back to our second session. In this session, I am going to show you how to draw or how to uh, complete a structural plan. A structural plan means showing column, beam, slab, likewise in AutoCAD. Previously, we have we have prepared this and based on this we need to create this structural plan this is floor plan this is structural plan so structural plan for this first thing already we have uh, set the units then create the different layers like already we have created few layers which are required for architectural plan or floor plan now we'll create the layers required for structural plan that is beam column slab then text dimension then center line so center line here center line for this center line i have taken this layer by default this layer so you can change change its name so where is the def uh, default layer so here c e n t r e center line center lines center lines so correct so these are the center lines so now what we are doing so what we are doing is we are we are we are drawing we are drawing central line plan like this so for this what you need to do is you just copy this use command copy select this and copy this plan anywhere so i have copied here so save it quick save then without wasting time complete the drawing for this we need to draw center line so to draw the center line what we'll do we will use offset command and this wall is of 200 mm so we'll take column size 200 by 200 mm so which fits here this is easiest way but here i am why i am taking this so without having any offsets we need to draw and then we need to design this building so we'll take a uh, beam size as per slab panel as you know uh, beam size as uh, 200 mm width and depth is 300 mm and as far as columns are concerned we'll take size as 200 mm by 200 in cross section so start drawing so for this first we'll select first we'll draw center line so for this we'll select center line here center line from layer center line layer then we'll use o offset enter 100 enter So then here also, here also, here also, we'll take here also, then we'll take here this line, this line, then this line. So clear, mm, nothing will be missing. So we'll press escape key. Then we'll just in extend these lines. So before that, ortho mode should be on. Then this line.
sorry so this line extend now what we will do we will delete this this is wrong this is correct this one this is two this is three this line is four this one is wrong we will delete then We have deleted everything. So we'll do undo undo so correct. So we'll delete this line only. Delete. So we have taken this then uh which we'll increase this extend line. Press escape key. This and we delete this. Extend this line. Like this. Extend this line. Extend this line also. Extend this line so extend this extend this extend this set 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 This line, this line, so everything we have done in this one. So I'll take offset command, go enter, under enter, escape key, extend this line. So we have extended. But see, all this shown with. One. So what I'll do? I'll do center line. Select this and select your line and here center line and then match property. Matching property to all other lines. Correct. So we have matched property. So match properties command also you can use. So learn different. Now, now what we need? We need to delete everything. But before that, we'll place a column so that we know the column. So we'll select column layer. Select save. Then select polyline. So keep here. Then 200. Enter. 200. Enter. Here 200. Enter. And then directly join. So we have drawn the this. We select this. Then we'll do select command or by layer so this will be by layer then save it 
then we'll select this copy this selecting the center point in ortho mode of place the column by selecting center point so wherever required we place the columns so we'll take column here Here column. It is not possible for us. So we provide here column. We ship that to the with the provided column now hit save save now already we have done everything now we are we will delete the part which are not required for us so what we'll do we'll delete windows doors this dimensions the name of everything so clear so we'll start deleting this I select doors enter delete delete So hello friends uh, now instead of deleting you can uh, hide them also but it is not necessary here we doesn't require this in this plan so that's why i have deleted i have deleted two walls also now so uh, after this we'll draw the beams but see here we require column here also if not if it is necessary it is necessary so what we will do we will move this column select this column move select center correct then here also here also same thing will be there be required to move this so select this column use move command select base point and click so we have move now we'll draw the beams so for this what we'll select we'll select this polyline and we'll start drawing from here to here 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 and here so one beam is there so what we'll do we'll select this select layer beam where is the layer this is the beam layer and the thickness will be continuous line correct then we'll take key press escape then save it control s then will draw another P so we'll select polyline select this point draw this draw this draw this and draw this and we'll select this so instead of this we we'll select this we'll select here match property and keep it here so escape so now what we'll do we'll select this and this beam and make it 
copy. Select this point. Click here. Click here. So you copied it. Then same thing will do double enter. So you of this select this select this copy select base point and keep it here so we have completed our view in one direction so doing it in another direction what we will do we will again first we will save the work then we will select this line sorry we will select polyline select here layer beam we will draw here here and we will draw here here and then match and here we will select line continuous then again same thing we'll do here we'll select polyline select beam is there select here continuous draw here 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 and here again polyline draw here 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 and here and here so we have drawn this then we will draw another thing so for this here with this draw here 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 and here so we have completed beam so now what we will do we will select this beam make its copy select base point click here so we have completed this now select this this select this this and then just copy just take it this point place it here then place it here and place it sorry so this so select this copy select this center point place it here and place it here and delete select this this sorry select this this and this will delete so we have drawn the beams but where is missing here here one or two beams so for that select this copy select center point place it here place it here so now so as you know we have placed beam primary these beams are primary primary beams mean those beams those who are connected from column to column they are primary beam and secondary beams are connect from beam to beam tertiary beam secondary beam to secondary beam or secondary beam to primary beam. so these are the tertiary beam these are the beam system so now this is the uh, what we can say this is your uh, slab and as you know ly based on the ly by lx so now this uh, room name text will hide them so for this select here where is the text click on this word turn off layer so layer will be off automatically so save it QS 
कंट्रोल लेस कंट्रोल लेस ऑलरेडी वेव सेव एंड एवरी थिंग एवरी बीम कॉलम वेव ड्रॉन स्लैब सो बेस्ड ऑन एल वाई बाय एल एक्स इफ इट इज लेस देन टू ग्रेटर देन लेस देन टू इट विल बी अट वी कैन से इफ इट इज लेस देन टू इट इज टू वे ग्रेटर देन टू इट्स वन वे स्लैब सो सिंपल थिंग थिंग कीप इन माइंड इफ अ स्लैब लुक्स लाइक अ स्क्वेर इट विल बी अ टू वे इफ इट इज रेक्टेंगुलर समॉट रेक्टेंगुलर इट विल बी अ uh one way so we'll design this slab as a two way two way two way two way one way one way this is two way this is one way and this is one way so for that what we'll do we'll draw here symbol for this first we'll uh what we'll do we'll this our uh what we can say our uh ortho mode should be off then we'll select a polyline so we'll draw here so sorry we'll select the polyline we'll draw a line here we'll draw one more line here we'll draw one more line here and we'll draw one more line here So, so instead of this, we'll delete this. So we'll select again polyline. We'll draw here, select here, we'll draw here, and we'll draw here. We'll escape. So this will be done. So we'll copy this. Copy. So make a base point. Copy here. Then we'll select this, rotate this, make base point, and we'll uh, for this we'll keep ortho on. So then we'll keep ortho off. Then we'll select this. Move, select center point. We have to this point will move. Then what we'll do? We'll select this, copy this, select this, and then we'll keep. This is the two-way slab. This is again two-way. This is two-way. This is two-way. Here well, this is also two-way. So keep this. Then. will delete this and then what we'll do we'll select this only then we'll take its copy select this keep it here keep one here keep one here and keep one here so this all our panels are These are two-way slab. These are one-way slab. These are so we'll what we'll do? We'll select this, select here where is our slab. So where is the slab? So open slab. So it will be slab. So we'll save, quick save. Two S. Now, yeah. then we'll what we'll do? We'll use match the property. We'll select there, match property. So we have selected that. That's why it was not moving. So we have matched properly. So now what we'll do? 
so now after this we will give numbering to the slab panel before that we will define the dimensions dimensions of beam column and slab panel so you have prepared a schedule then it's okay but here also we'll show you dimension so what we'll do we'll select this select okay click here click here then enter here to here enter Enter here to here, enter here to here, enter here to here. Or we keep or go more on, then click enter here to here, enter here to here. Enter then click enter here to here enter and then so one more line is required. So what we'll do we'll, uh, we'll take just O enter and enter So not possible we have drawn the beam so and of this what we'll do we'll select the simple line here so here I'll draw line extend this line up to here and then like this match property so properly matching then selecting dimension from here to here okay then from press enter here to here so this is not necessary to keep dimension here so already we have provided the dimension so we'll keep control less qs then so i think every dimension i have shown so uh, we have shown everything here then uh, dimensions are shown so dimension for only for uh, columns remaining so we'll show the column dimension here so we'll take this here to here enter here to here and here so here you can see the thickness of beam is all over same size of column are also all over same so now what we'll do we'll number everything that is column beam and slab so for this will go for the uh, text so your text so we'll write here c1 column we'll save first we'll save our work save then we'll select this c1 select layer column it's by layer so it's will keep escape correct so here we'll select nothing will we'll just copy and paste Keep ortho off. So here will be a column. Here will be a column. 
then here will be a column here is one 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 column then here is one column and here is one column so column will be placed now change the numbering of column Two. Save. C three. So here we have completed everything. We have given the numbering to column, beam, GB is the grid beam, and then uh, for slab panels S one, S two, S three, S four, S five, F six. S7, S8, and S9. Total 15 columns will be there. Total 21 beam will be there, and total 9 slab panels will be there. Out of 9 slab panel, there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 are 2 way slab panel, and 4 are uh, 1 way slab panel. So, we'll after this, what we'll do, we'll select the polyline and just draw outside boundary to our work draw. then what we'll do we will use trim command tr Save this. If you like the video, please share it and subscribe the channel for more such fruitful videos. In the next, in the next video, we'll start robot structural analysis, and there we'll design this column, beam, and slab panels. So. Watch this videos, two videos earlier yesterday I have uploaded one video and now I have uploaded second video so based on the AutoCAD so 90% commands I have explained through this video so if you like the video please do share it and subscribe the channel my channel name is PM Civil Softtech Guruji PM Civil of take guruji and its uh, link is www dot www dot y o u t u b e dot com slash c slash e r a b i n m a n prime money so this is the my custom link and this is the channel name so here so AutoCAD if you have any com, uh, problem or any doubt regarding the AutoCAD you just contact me or comment me so here you will see one video of my channel Thank you, thank you.